Hi. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about the creative process uh, and how I got involved in actually producing art. Even looking back, it's a little fuzzy. I had a friend who was an artist, and I was always amazed and impressed with my friend's ability to render three-dimensional objects. Uh, hanging around him and being somewhat of a loner at the time, I really appreciated his uh, confident and idiosyncratic view of the world around us. So, you know, he let me try his paints once. I made a horrible mess, like god awful. First thing I tried to make was something loosely probably related to Picasso, meaning uh, like an out, simple shapes, kind of a sort of goofy, distorted faces, characters. Uh, but as time went on, you know, I started reading a few books from the library uh, about techniques on how to produce drawings. And bit by bit, I, I kind of stumbled onto my initial voice, so to speak, uh, through an exercise in a book. Uh, this exercise is basically to uh, make random lines on a canvas or paper, and you just turn the paper or canvas around until you see shapes, or uh, which remind you of objects, and then you flesh them out, so to speak. So I did this for quite a long time, uh, for about five years, and I just, you know, I made these into bright uh, acrylic paintings with flat shapes of paint with a black outline, um, and I discovered in the process that. Uh, actually liked and I had an ability to uh, make a nice sharp black line. So I was making these big four by four foot, like almost a little like childhood kind of very simplified figures with flat colors on them. Uh, but I was on my way. I really, so to speak, caught the bug and that's all I wanted to do. Uh, at the time, I was kind of an outsider loner, not complaining, but it certainly was a very nice um, fit my personality with, um, you know, putting my energy onto making, uh, making a painting where I could do it uh, with lots of solitude and I could really get engaged and enjoy the process. Um, you know, I right then and there I did discover that to really uh, advance as an artist, uh, there was a kind of universal rule: you have to show up and paint. If you show up and paint, everything unfolds on its own. You make one painting, you put it next to a second one, one is going to be stronger. You compare and contrast. Why is this one stronger? Why is this one weaker? Pardon me. That's it for now.